Hello, my dear children. Good morning, all of you. Today, I will tell you in equation one of the chapter out of 22 chapters of ICC math syllabus. Certainly, you will pay your full attention. Please see the board. I am showing one solution. Sum is given, solve the following in equation and graph the solution on the number line. Sum is minus 2, 2 by 3, less than equal to x plus 1 by 3, less than 3 plus 1 by 3, comma, x belongs to R. Many There are many ways we may solve this. One of them I am showing you. I I want to break the equation into two parts, part one from here to here. Why up to here, if you think, then before starting the second inequality sign, the first part. And second part that will start, that will start the first inequality sign to, to the end. The part one, solution part one, minus two by two. 2 and 2 by 3 less than equal to x plus 1 by 3 implies sign minus 8 by 3 my minus 1 by 3 this is right hand side of the inequality sign when it will come in left hand side the sign will be changed that change this is why it will be minus 1 by 3 less than equal to x imply sign minus 9 by 3 less than equal to x therefore minus 3 less than equal to x this is the first part and second part that is x plus 1 by 3 less than equal to 3 plus 1 by 3 1 by 3 and 1 by 3 same sign in both sides of the inequality sign therefore this will be cancelled therefore x less than 3 after this, if you do that correctly, then you will get one marks. In ICC, they are distributing the part marks. This part up to this for one marks. Second part, you have to write the solution set. See, in, in this way, you have to write the solution set. In many books, you will see they are not writing the solution set in this way. This is the method you have to write the solution set exactly in this way. See, uh, x such that x belongs to r minus 3 less than equal to x less than 3. Minus value always you have to write first then plus value. And after writing this you have to write Keep the solution set within second bracket. After this, if you do correctly, then another part marks that is plus one. Then you have to represent the solution set on the graph. For the graph, first you have to draw a straight line. And after drawing the straight line, you have to put the arrow either side. If you do not put the arrow, then it will be the segment of a straight line, but it will not be the straight line. You have to draw a straight line. This is why you have to put the arrow sign either side. After putting the arrow sign, then you have to give the name of the straight line, that is x, x dash. Then you have to draw the scale. At middle of the straight line, you have to take zero, and right side of the zero, then you have to take plus value in this way, one, two, three, four. And gap between the two values must be uniform. And in negative, uh, left hand side, negative value, minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four. Here, plus four and minus four. In either side, one values, we, we have written x star. Here, Required value minus 3 to plus 3. But remember, at least one value 
in either side of the required value you have to write more otherwise you will miss the marks for graph that is the last part so this is why you have to remember you have to write in either side one more values from the required values so after drawing the graph in this way if you do this part accordingly this then you will get another part marks that is plus one in this way if you do the three parts correctly then you will get the three marks first part by breaking the i equation into two parts if you do the two parts correctly then you will get the plus marks plus one then solution set if you write exactly in this way then another plus one and number line if you do write if you draw exactly in this way then you will get another plus one now listen instead of this if you see the in equation in solving if you get minus 15 less than minus 4x if you see the minus sign is coming in both side then it will be plus by changing the sign of inequality see this part you must notice very carefully this is the difference between the equation and in equation and inequation in e in the in the case of inequation sign of inequality will be the change here is my less than to make it plus it will be greater than sign and then uh, 3.75 greater than equal to x after that you have to write the solution set in this way x says that x belongs to r you know very well minus value always you have to write first this is why suppose the values is coming minus to less than I equal to x less than 3.75 then you have to represent the solution set on number line same way you have to draw a straight line after drawing the straight line you have to put the arrow marks and after putting arrow marks you have to give the name of the uh, straight line x x dash and after that you have to draw the scale in this way either side you have to uh, uh, give more one values and different things what here that you must notice carefully here the fraction value is coming instead of integer here we are getting 3.75 most of the student this part they are not following carefully you must follow this attentively in case of fractional or decimal numbers you have to draw the you have to draw the number line and you have to draw the graph in this way after drawing the graph the fractional value on the number line you have to write in this way 3.75 instead of writing this value that is 3.75 just if you draw the line you will miss one marks for graph very vital part you must notice very carefully Thank you everybody. I think everybody understand. If you feel any confusion, don't worry. You must inform me. I am always with you. Thank you everyone.